What if I told you that China's semiconductor industry has just achieved something that could completely transform the global technology landscape? This breakthrough is so unexpected that it's already causing serious waves in tech hubs from Silicon Valley all the way to Taipei. For many months, experts and observers have been watching Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, or SMIC, which is China's largest chip manufacturer. They've been working tirelessly on their next-generation 2-nanometer process technology. But here's the part nobody saw coming. They've done it without using a single piece of equipment from the United States or any Western supplier. That means no applied materials gear, no LAM research tools, no ASML machines, nothing from the usual key players. The impact of this is huge. If you invest in technology stocks, own a smartphone, rely on cloud computing, or are simply curious about how the next chapter in the global tech race will unfold, this development changes everything. And honestly, we're just beginning to understand what it really means. Before diving deeper into this groundbreaking achievement, it's important to understand the backdrop. For decades, the semiconductor industry has depended on a highly complex and carefully managed global supply chain. American companies like Applied Materials, KLA Corporation, and LAM Research have long dominated the market for chip-making equipment. The Dutch company ASML holds a near monopoly on the most advanced extreme ultraviolet lithography machines, which are absolutely essential for producing the tiniest, most advanced chips. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, is considered the global leader in advanced process nodes and supplies chips to tech giants like Apple and NVIDIA. China's ambitions to build its own advanced chip-making capabilities have been heavily restricted by export controls. These controls, especially those tightened in 2020 and 2022, aim to prevent Chinese firms from getting access to the most advanced manufacturing equipment and technology. The common belief was that, without U.S. and Dutch tools, China could never compete at the 2 nanometer technology level. But as we're about to see, such assumptions can be misleading. SMIC's path to mastering 2 nanometer chips has been shrouded in secrecy. Unlike TSMC or Samsung, which openly share detailed roadmaps and technical insights, SMIC has been extremely private. Industry analysts have had to piece together clues from patent filings, supply chain monitoring, and occasional leaked presentations to try and understand what's really going on. What's clear is that SMIC has been investing heavily in developing their own indigenous equipment. They've teamed up with Chinese equipment makers like Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment, SME, and Advanced Microfabrication Equipment, Inc., AMEC. The big question everyone has is whether these homegrown companies can match the precision and capability of their Western rival. Here's where it gets really interesting. Recent satellite images analyzed by industry experts show unusual activity at SMIC's Shanghai factory. Construction teams have been working nonstop to install new cleanroom facilities. More importantly, the new equipment being brought in doesn't resemble any Western-made manufacturing systems. Reports suggest SMIC is pursuing alternative lithography methods, moving away from relying on ASML's EUV machines. Instead, they're experimenting with multi-patterning techniques combined with new etching methods. These approaches could theoretically allow them to create 2 nanometer features without EUV technology. But the breakthrough isn't just about equipment, it also involves new materials. Chinese researchers have been developing advanced photoresists and etching chemicals in collaboration with top universities across the country. These materials, combined with cutting-edge computational lithography driven by AI and machine learning, help optimize chip patterning in ways that compensate for equipment limitations. Essentially, SMIC is using software and smart materials to overcome hardware challenges, a technique hinted at in academic research but now maturing rapidly. There's more to the story than just technology. Intelligence reports indicate that SMIC's rapid progress has been boosted by the recruitment of former engineers from TSMC, Samsung, and even some American semiconductor firms. While hiring talent from competitors isn't new in this industry, the scale and focus of these hires for SMIC is unprecedented. Insider sources mention a large-scale reverse engineering effort, not just to copy Western equipment, but to completely rethink semiconductor manufacturing from the ground up. SMIC has been exploring problems Western companies solved years ago, but asking how they could approach them differently today. There are also rumors about a secretive project within SMIC, sometimes referred to as Project Phoenix. Some say this effort involves using quantum computing to optimize manufacturing processes, while others 
whisper about collaborations with Chinese space agencies to develop radiation-hardened semiconductors that might have both military and commercial uses. Another shocking part of this breakthrough is the supply chain. SMIC hasn't just built its own equipment, they've created new supply chains for critical raw materials. Elements like rare earth metals, specialty gases, and ultra-pure chemicals needed for 2 nanometer manufacturing have traditionally come from Western suppliers. SMIC has apparently solved this challenge as well. Now, here's where things become truly remarkable. SMIC's 2 nanometer technology isn't just about catching up with companies like TSMC or Samsung. It's about creating a new manufacturing approach they call adaptive node technology. This isn't just one process node, but a flexible system that can adjust performance based on the specific needs of each chip design. This means a single factory could produce chips optimized for everything from high-performance computing to ultra-low power Internet of Things devices without costly retooling. The cost savings and efficiency gains from this flexibility are enormous. The implications go even further. SMIC's breakthrough includes design technology co-optimization, where chip designs are created in perfect harmony with manufacturing capabilities. Instead of designing chips first and then figuring out how to make them, SMIC designs chips that fit their unique production methods. This creates a feedback loop that speeds up innovation and improves performance. Early tests suggest their 2 nanometer chips could rival or even exceed TSMC's in performance while using much less power. Best of all, they could be produced at a fraction of the cost thanks to SMIC's homegrown equipment ecosystem. This shift has major geopolitical consequences. For years, the United States has leveraged control over semiconductor technology to maintain a strategic edge. But SMIC's breakthrough undermines this strategy. Instead of being shut out of advanced chip making, China may have leapfrogged traditional methods entirely. This changes the global technology playing field in a fundamental way. The stock market is already reacting. Companies that have long profited from selling semiconductor equipment, like Applied Materials, LAM Research, and ASML, are scrambling to understand how SMIC pulled this off. Meanwhile, chip designers everywhere face a new reality where performance and cost advantages are shifting rapidly. SMIC's approach involves hybrid patterning, blending traditional photolithography with advanced electron beam lithography and new atomic layer deposition techniques that aren't widely known outside China. They use smart materials that self-assemble at the molecular level, allowing features smaller than the light wavelength used to create them. Their fabs house custom supercomputers running advanced algorithms to monitor and optimize production in real time, adjusting exposure, etching, and even fab layout to maximize output and performance. One of the biggest hurdles in creating two nanometer chips is dealing with quantum tunneling, where electrons behave unpredictably at atomic scales, causing leakage and reducing efficiency. SMIC's solution is called quantum confinement engineering, designing transistors that actually work with quantum effects instead of fighting them. This results in smaller, more efficient transistors than those currently. Industry insiders believe SMIC could start producing two nanometer chips at scale as soon as late 2025 possibly beating TSMC's roadmap. They're also developing adaptive 1.4 nanometer technology that might be ready by 2026. This accelerated timeline will impact a wide range of industries. Smartphone makers, cloud data centers, automotive companies building autonomous vehicles, and even military and aerospace programs that need secure, radiation-hardened chips could all benefit from more affordable access to cutting-edge semiconductor tech. Environmental benefits are another important factor. SMIC's manufacturing process appears to use much less energy than traditional methods, potentially reducing the carbon footprint of chip production by up to 40%. In an industry under growing pressure to become greener, this is a significant advantage. As this new chapter unfolds, one thing is clear. The rules of semiconductor manufacturing have changed forever. What seemed impossible just months ago is now a reality and its effects will be felt throughout the entire technology world. But this is only the beginning. SMIC's breakthrough marks a fresh starting point for innovation, not an endpoint. The real question now is not if other companies will respond, but how fast they can adapt to a world where the traditional Western advantages in semiconductor technology are no longer guaranteed. So what does all this mean for you? Whether you're an investor, a tech professional, or simply someone who uses smartphones and computers every day, this development will affect your future in ways that are just starting to become clear. If you found this analysis helpful, please like, share, 
and subscribe for more deep dives into the technology shaping our world. Let me know in the comments what parts of this semiconductor breakthrough excite or concern you the most. Have you noticed changes in your industry that might be connected to these advances? What topics would you like to see explored in future videos? Your input helps shape the conversation and leads to the most interesting discussions. The semiconductor revolution is just getting started, and staying informed has never been more important. Until next time, keep watching, keep questioning, and remember that in technology, the only constant is change.